Yo, what's up everyone, Kozu Otaki here and welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'll be playing more Deltarune Chapter 2 and let's just get back to where we were before. So, we're back in Castle Town, just chilling with everybody. There's little Susie just sitting there in the corner like, yeah, Chris, let's do this. And then there's like, Ralsei just chilling as well. Um, I'm trying to remember what you're meant to do in this bit. I think I meant, I think I meant to talk to Ralsei and Susie for this but I don't fully remember. So, Ralsei! You're not gonna put your hat back on. What? Did I look cuter before? Oh, he's cheeky, ain't he? That Ralsei's always been up to no good. Um, I don't know how well this video will be going because I'm actually quite tired while filming this because um, I've been like going onto that VR chat thing and it, fucking wearing that VR headset really hurts your eyes after a while. And um, I'm actually kind of just waiting for this game called Steven Universe Unleash the Light to download. And once that downloads, I'll probably be doing a Let's Play series of that as well. But the difference with that game is, I'll actually be going into that one blind because I've never played it before. It was just nice to see less of you. You're making me blush. Oh my goodness. These two are having some real dynamics, aren't they? Like, let's go see what Ralsei has to say. Chris, go to the old classroom and bring everything back here. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's, what, that's what you're meant to do. We're supposed to go to that classroom and bring all the stuff here, and then it creates the dark world. How do you run again? Oh, there we go, that's how I run. Let's go to heaven, guys! Oh, I think it's in here. Look at this room. There's like a bunch of theory videos about this room and it turns out they were all kind of correct because all the theory videos were saying that this is how the dark world got created and it was just from this room. But most of it, wait, actually, I think it's an Easter egg in there. Yeah, it's, this kind of looks like Squidward sort of, but I think it's supposed to be something, that picture there, like an Easter egg or something, but... I don't remember because it's been a while since I've watched any Undertale Fury video. Woo! And down we go. Sprinkling the star magic everywhere. Hey Chris, so where is Evie? Oh. And this is it. This is um really cool this bit. Guess who's back clown? My favourite character, Lancer, right here. Lancer is one of the greatest characters in this game. He's just absolutely fantastic. Lancer! Yeah! Uh, uh. Hey Chris, don't know what you did, but hell yeah! Everyone's here! Just like Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. But, uh, what happened to the Lancer's castle? Yeah, what actually happened? Oh, gone! I love how he just says it so casually, he's just like, oh yeah, it's gone, like, my castle, never there, it was, it's gone from the start. Gone? Right, when Chris sealed the fountain, that Stark world disappeared. Actually, you know, I just realised about this filming process. I'm using my controller to film this video, but I think for the next video I'm going to do, I'm actually going to use this headset I've got because I just realised whenever I use my controller, I'm either too loud or too quiet. So I think I'm going to be using that headset next time. I would plug it in the now, but I, I don't know if that messes up the filming quality and all that. So so where's Lancer going to live now? Oh, don't worry, Susie. We'll conquer Rousey's castle as our own. What the hell? No, you can't just conquer my castle. Chris, I should bring Dark Denizens back here. I don't remember what that word means, but um, it's pretty cool. The power of our fountain will transform this town more and more. Yeah, there's a, I think there's another fan theory about that, actually. About how Ralsei's just bringing everyone here. Because people are, like, making theories about how Ralsei's actually a villain. Which... Part of me is like, he could be, but the other part of me is like, that's really stupid, but it's not. Because it is kind of weird, the fact that Ralsei is wanting to destroy all these other dark worlds, and the fact that he can go to all of them in the first place, and yet he's wanting to bring everybody here into this small area. There, there, there is some theories about that, like, about how maybe Ralsei's like the knight, or how Ralsei is wanting to bring them all here so that that fountain becomes more powerful and then something bad happens from it. But that, those are all just many fears that the Deltarune community was making for a while. It's been like a year since I've played this though, so I know I didn't do the talking for any of those characters there, but that was because my last video I was telling like mini stories and then it was like 15 minutes of just the start of the game. This is probably why most gameplay videos are like an hour long now, is because like games it takes like an hour to even get to the combat now. It's already been four minutes and we haven't done much combat wise. Um this is the shop here, like if you beat Jebel in chapter one, who's the crazy clown guy, he gives you a crystal and if you go in here and talk to the man he'll give you something. But let's go into the party dojo, eh? 
party time. Hey, boss. Boss. Heh, I'm so glad to have a nice boss. I couldn't shed a tear. But I won't. I'm on a job. I'll cry at home with the kids. Boss, you're strong, but there's always time to learn. The next step after tutorials is training. That's absolutely right. Same for fighting games, certainly. So me and the boss got you together a dojo. Um, I'll probably do some once just to do content eventually again. Complete our battle challenges and get some fabulous prizes. Meanwhile, you might get a little bit tougher. Oh, I remember this. There was one battle challenge that I absolutely hate. Um, it was on Nintendo Switch. I don't remember which one it was. I think it was this one. I think I hated this one. Um, let's do Jigsaw. One of them I just completely hated. Um, boss, you can act and spare in the same turn. If you know Chris, act will give you... Okay. Spare them on the same... Right, hold on. Let me... So, if I act, Jigsaw will shave. And then I think we can click spare after that, in fact. Right, now we should be able to spare them. Okay, there. Wait a second, I got something else to remind you of. Boss. It works the same way with making an enemy tired. Okay, now we've got to make him tired with Ralsei. Um, Sleepy story, and uh, Ralsei can cast Pacify. And Jigsaw and um... Alright, there we go. Was that, is that all I had to do? Was just do that in Sleep Spell? I forgot that the Sleep Spell, when you make an enemy sleepy, it can um, spare them as well. Because I didn't, I forgot that that's what Ralsei's pacified did. I was like, do I need to then click spare or something? Challenge, we did that one. Let's do this one now. Grease! I think, am I meant to just go this guy? Oh, my Steven Universe game's downloaded, so after this I'm gonna hop on that. Ah, I hate this one. I, yeah. This is the one I hate. You gotta like try and like fill up your TP fully, right? And it's really annoying. I, I don't know if it's just me, but every enemy in this... This was like the hardest bit about Chapter 2 for me. It was not spam it was this. I hated this. For, I, I can't explain how I hated it. it was, it's really simple, it's just I hate it for some reason. Come on, I'm so close, I swear. If I get hit now, I'm gonna can lose it. Yes! Uh, I did it. I thought, that, I thought this video was going to be like an entire 15 minutes of me having to try and do that, but but now we get the Clover rematch, and I think for the Clover rematch, uh, I think we got to like just do what we did last time. Clover joins the stage. Clover, um, oh, let's do a long topic, like, trying to bed, uh, number four. Oh, no, 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 yep. Oh, God, no. I am not dying to this enemy. I, f I think I'm actually gonna lose. Um, hold up, no, no. I refuse to lose. Like, I wonder, uh, later on, surely when they make the later chapters, you're gonna have to, like, play all the chapters, because later on, there's no way that you could just hop into, like, chapter... whatever the final chapter's gonna be instantly, and just somehow be able to beat the final boss with stats like this. It, clearly, they, they've got, like, a, a plan with that. Like, giant bed, maybe? Yes, giant bed. Okay, so we need to like keep doing topics to like go. Oh no, I remember this, but okay. So the long topics are like how to spare clover, but in the f chapter one you had to um, do the birthday thing with clover. Speaking of birthdays, it was my birthday two days ago, and I would have made a video on that, but I don't really know what to make a video on. Uh, puzzle. Yeah, puzzles. Most characters in Undertale and Builder in games like puzzles. Oh, this is the tail attack. Another attack I don't like very much. I've gotten really bad at this game because I've gotten bad at using the D-pad. Uh, wait, can we spare Clover yet? No. Not yet. Alright, let's give Clover a long topic. Tree. There we go. I thought Tree would work. Alright, let's go. I'm gonna dodge this. I was actually wondering, I was thinking to myself, should I make a video today? And I was like, maybe not. But I decided to. Oh, you're having a laugh. we got to do this one more time. Please be an easy attack and like something. Birthday, yep. Boom. There we go, that's exactly what we wanted. Okay, dodging, dodging. Oh, yo, yo. Oh, nope, 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 nope. There we go, and now we can spare Clover. 
I wonder, can we kill Clover like by attacking? I think if we do that, we fail the challenge, so let's not do that, but... We got the club sandwich, speaking of sandwiches, I'm actually really hungry right now. I am severely hungry right now as we speak. Um, let's, um, I've got a few, like five minutes left of film time here, so while we're doing that, let's go show you something cool here. I think we need to bring Lancer here for this. This is the dummy from chapter one. That's the big door, which I'm pretty sure is closed now. You can talk to all these guys and like, you'll get like, mini easter eggs and stuff like that, I'm pretty sure. But where is it? Um, is it here actually? I know it's... Uh, if you know what I'm looking for, this is where you fall in chapter... In chapter um, 1. And I don't remember where the mini egg is, I don't think it's in this area, I think it's in... Somewhere in chapter 2's book, but... Where's the cage for his dad? Well, let's go to the save point quickly while we're at it. Alright, you're filled with the power of friendship based on. See, they never said the power of determination because they don't want you knowing if that's Chris's power or not. If we go into the bakery, however, we will see Lancer, and he now owns a bakery. Try my delicious hand formed cookies! This is a costume he wears when he builds a thrash machine. Take cookie. I now pronounce you cookie and wife. Lancer cookie was added to your inventory. I think if we talk to that hammer guy, he can craft stuff as well. There was a quest to make um, the key for Drevel with that. Um, if I go up to him, that was stuck. Hmm. So we are now in the castle town. Well, now it makes no sense to me. As long as I stay in my shop, these walls won't change. But in a way, I suppose it's just a little bit amusing to see you again. I think that's a fourth wall break because. This character is kind of aware of the fact that he's in a game, sort of. Because him and Drevel, they, they kind of know. And when he says walls, I think he's describing the fact that he has moved to Castle Town, but he still knows that he's in the walls of the game. But when he says he's still in his shop, he knows that this is his area still. If you find Strongest Treasure, I'm sure you'll be able to... a little reason to return here. But if you have some time, I'll offer you a biscuit. Um, I'll probably, let's go and see what's he got. We need this sword actually, but we don't have enough space. We'll probably need that sword, but um, I think once we get to the area, there's going to be better loot anyway. And that's the regular cafe. And I think I'm probably going to end the video from here, unless this is where the prison cell is now. Yeah, I'm going to end the video now, but um, I think in the next video I do, we'll actually get to some actual gameplay of this, because for now it's mainly just been wandering about Castletown again, just chilling in Castletown. But, um, part two, not part two, but part three should be some actual gameplay. Apart from that, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and have a great day.